I'm going to boot this one. <laughs> Hi. I had a fellow Adam user contact me and ask me, was it possible to back up a data pack onto the ADE? It is possible. You need to do a little work first. You need to get a blank data pack image on the ADE. You need to have certain software on the ADE to work with. And I'll show you that right now. And then after that, I'll come back here and we'll actually do it. Okay. To copy a data pack over to the ADE, we need a blank image to work with. So you go on atomarchive.org, click on archive, click on Atom, click on blank media. We're going to download the 256k digital data pack .ddp. Click on that. I'm going to save it to my Atom ADE, which is the SD card. And I'm going to name it damn busters because that's what I'm going to eventually put on it and I'm going to save it and as you can see over here now it's on there along with my boot disk image and file manager in smart basic so now I can go back over to the atom and we can continue on all right so now that we have the software on there we're back here at the atom you can see I put the uh, SD card in here I got the one that's called dambusters.ddp, but that's a blank data pack right now. There's nothing on it, it's just blank. Just as a little background, just so you know why it's a little convoluted. Disk images, uh, let's say, data packs, their, store, their records are stored sequentially from block zero through block 255, straight through. Disk images are interleaved because the disk is spinning and the disk drive doesn't have enough time to do zero, one, two, three, it does zero. Then uh, I'm gonna jump some numbers on, but it does zero, then it does eight, then it does two, then it does nine. It moves around, it interleaves. As the disk is spinning, when it gets done doing it, the next block is coming up, so it moves around. The next, I'm sorry, the next sector, not the next block. There's four sectors in a block, so it moves around, picking up the pieces to build the blocks. Why does that matter? If you just copied a data pack over to a disk image on the ADE, it wouldn't work. The ADE looks at the extension. And in this case, a data pack, the extension is DDP. For a disk, it's DSK. And if you have some cartridges on here, the extension is ROM. So it looks at the, the extension DDP and knows not to interleave that one. It looks at the extension DSK and it knows to interleave it. So that's why we have to put a blank DDP on there to copy into. Now what we're gonna do is first off, we're gonna load up File Manager. I like File Manager, there's other ones that work, but File Manager really works well, and I'll show you why in a second, how easy it is. So I load up File Manager. Now File Manager is loaded up. I got a loose cable back here, so if it flickers, just ignore that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the ADE, and I have to, and you're not going to be able to see it really well, I have to load that Dambusters DDP as drive one. So I got to move around to find it and select it. So now drive one is my Dambusters DDP. I'm going to take my Dambusters data pack, put it in my tape drive. Then I'm going to go into media functions, which is number two. I'm going to go into copy blocks, which is number three. Now my source is going to be the data pack. So I'm going to toggle this to its tape drive. My starting block is going to be zero. And my total number of blocks is going to be 256. Now my target is going to be the disk drive. And if I left that as it is right now, disk drive one, it will say it won't fit because file manager thinks the disk drive is single-sided and only can hold 160 blocks. So what I need to do is I have to do Shift F4 to make it double-sided. Now File Manager thinks that the disk drive can hold up to 320 blocks. I'm only doing 256, but File Manager is going to be happy with that. 
And file manager has nothing to do with the interleaving. All that is done on the hardware, not in the atom. And the start block that I'm gonna be writing to is zero. So what I've done is I set it up as my source is a tape drive. It's single sided, double sided, it doesn't matter. Start block is zero, that's the beginning. Number of blocks is 256. My target is the disk drive, which is the image I set as disk drive one. Double sided just so that I can get past that limit of 160 blocks in a, in a disk drive. Start block to write to is zero. So now I'm gonna hit return, I'm gonna hit enter again. And it's going to go through and it's going to copy them. It'll take a while, so I'll fast forward through this piece here. And when it's done, I'll come back and we'll show you how it worked. Ah, it seems like it's having an issue trying to find block zero on here. Why is that, I ask? Let's put this back in here. Get in there. I just verified it. So I'm not sure why it didn't work. Let's try this again. Copy blocks. Everything's good. Start block zero. All right, there it goes. I think what it is is file manager was trying to find block zero and it couldn't find it in time because this was not rewound all the way. It was searching back and forth and it gave up thinking that this was like a center directory instead of a left directory because it's a game pack. So now it's reading it. It'll read in like 30 blocks and then write them to the, dat to the disk. And then read another 30 and write them until it's done. You'll see the little light blinking there as it's right into the disk. As long as we don't have any issues reading from this data pack, I did do a verify on it to make sure that the whole data pack was readable and it did pass the verification. So, looks like we're working now. So I'll go ahead and back out of the camera and you can watch it some more. So we seem to have had an issue reading block 203. What I like to do, and I'm gonna walk from the camera, sorry about that. What I normally do is when I'm copying data packs is I have my big old bottle of rubbing alcohol sitting close by and a Q-tip. And I wet the Q-tip and give the data pack head a little wipe down. Don't soak it, just wipe it down. Because as you can see there, these old tapes start to fall apart after a while. And a little bit of dust can get in there and cause it to have issues. So I do that, I put this back in, tell it to retry. I said retry. What are you doing? What's doing this? You know what? It's this. Why does... Now this is irritating. And this is what kind of turns me off on the ADE. And don't tell me to upload, upload my software. 
why in the middle of using this does this thing switch back to the boot disk as the image on drive one? That's this thing. I'm starting to, do you see it just reset itself too when I set it down? I'm starting to wonder if I really like using that ADE. The convenience of it is starting to annoy me. But I'm going to show you that what I was doing was working before the AD decided to just switch itself to another image. I'll reload this here. And again, ADE developer, don't say it's my software. It's not. It's the ADE. Likes to switch out and change. And don't tell me I need to update my firmware again because I'm not. That's not the issue. Or if it is, it's lack of telling anybody why they need to update the firmware instead of new update available. Anywho, I did cut most of it on here so you can actually see that it did copy it over. Maybe you'll have better luck with your AD than me. I'm going to boot this one. <laughs> All right then, and I would pick a data pack that is hardware to use the data drive. So that was a total waste of time. But it does work. You can make backups. I'm not having a great day today, it seems. You have a great day.